welcome back. It's Danny and my cousin Jay. Hi. Today we're doing a different kind of video. We're gonna do a Tasty Tuesday today. And what is the bakery we're trying? I'm mispronouncing, but La Sicilia. La Sicilia. La Sicilia. It's an Italian bakery in downtown Houston, mm -hmm. and we are gonna try all of their delicious Italian treats today. So stay tuned for the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Danny, and today I have a very special guest. Hi! It's my cousin Jade! I think this is my first time you're on my YouTube channel. Yep. So welcome. Welcome to the Chew Crew. And today we have a super awesome video because it has food and I love to eat. So Me too. It runs in our family. <laughs> definitely. Today we are doing a Tasty Tuesday of La Cecilia. Yeah. It is a Italian bakery in Houston, and you you have the more information about it. You want to explain? I don't want to misexplain it, but basically, um, the guy who owns it, I guess, and the chef behind it, is originally from Italy. Um, he spent some time in New York, and then he eventually came here to Houston. In short story, but he makes all these yummy, delicious food. We do recommend that you go there earlier in the morning than we did because then they have a lot more selection because they just make a limited amount of everything. Uh, but they, the, all of it looks incredible and I'm so excited to try it. I've heard so many good things about it. Everything here looks phenomenal. Like when we went, I wanted to buy everything they had. I was like, that's out of my budget, but I got as much as I could with my budget. And since it's, the quarantine season. We're not doing the Tasty Tuesday in the restaurant like mm -hmm. I usually do. We are at home at my table and being safe <laughs> away from everybody. Six feet apart, people. And yeah, I cannot wait to review this food with you guys. Okay. Yay. What should we start with? Hmm. Let's first see what's in this little bag. Though. Oh yeah, she's been wanting to open this bag the whole time. And she has not let me. She's very adamant about how everything sets up and I'm not allowed to open anything beforehand. So I'm seeing what's in this I want everything bag. on the video. I think this is just like utensils. I hope so. Oh, it yeah. is! <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> now we both have forks. Yes. I guess I'll set this right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's two utensils in it. Perfect. And then we have an extra one. I think we should start with cookies because that's the easiest and the least messy. Do you want me to like cut them in half or you, what do you want me to do? We could cut them in half. Pick Perfect. Half. I will pick the half closest to me. <gasps> Ooh, it's a soft cookie. So she told us that this had like espresso in it and chocolate. Don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's supposed to be really yummy. Espresso and chocolate, I'm sold. <laughs> oh, it smells like espresso. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's really good. <laughs> that's really good. Recommend. 
is really good. I'm so happy. It seems to have some sort of like chocolate chip in it almost. Mm -hmm. Or I already ate it, but this is the chocolate frosting that has the espresso in it. And it just tastes like it has chocolate chips in it. It's a really soft cookie. That's really good. I'm gonna finish mine. <laughs> so next, this one I'm really excited about. It's a lemon ricotta cookie. Um, I love lemon ricotta pancakes. They sound really weird, but they're really good. So I'm trying to excited to try this cookie. Oh wow, Ooh, look, that's a fluffy. that's a thick, fluffy cookie right there. Oh, it smells like lemon. I just it smells my, like fresh lemon. I just stuck <sighs> my whole nose on it. It does smell like fresh lemons, and you can. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can tell there's lemon zest in the cookie. So that'll probably help with the flavor a lot. I love the icing on it. Really? Mm -hmm. It's that perfect icing. Ooh, yeah. You know, like when you get those iced cookies, like really good iced cookies? This is what That's that is. That's really good. I'm gonna say that so mom can try a bite. <laughs> she would love that. Mm. That's really tasty. Okay, the next stuff is bigger. So we definitely need a knife. The lemon cookie also tastes, if you've ever had like a lemon meringue, it tastes Ooh, really yeah. similar to that, or like the lemon bars. Ugh. Lemon bars. Okay, <laughs> what am I gonna try next? The cannolis? Probably Since the cannolis. Since they melt and we'll put them in the freezer. So I got the traditional cannoli and their strawberry cheesecake cannoli. We do have to eat them within an hour because it's cannolis. And whenever we were ordering these, they are actually empty shells at the bakery and they fill them and de decorate them while you're in the bakery. So you get the freshest filling possible. Mm -hmm. Really nice. The lady that was working with us was super duper sweet and it was just a really great experience. Yes, yeah. they are so nice there. They're the friendliest. So this is the traditional cannoli and I don't think we're gonna be, we can't cut this. So, I'm taking a bite. Ooh. Oh. It's nice and like crispy. That is so good. If you see on this side, it kind of like flakes off where she like tried it. It looks that like is so this is like some sort of a cherry. Yes, pistachio and the cream filling. That's super good. Mm -hmm. That's really, I could eat that whole thing. Oh man. And then the strawberry cheesecake is just a strawberry cheesecake filling, it looks like with um, graham cracker crumble. Mm -hmm. The pink color on it is so pretty. Is it good? That tastes like. No, it tastes like actual cheesecake. It is delicious. Nervous to try this. I'm not a big strawberry person unless it's like fresh strawberry. So. Oh, you're going to like it. I love strawberries. That's so good. Mmm. <laughs> that, that might be my favorite thing all day. That is super good. It's a really rich. Um, it you tastes... can see the little pieces of strawberry in it. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. Yeah. So it tastes like it has strawberry bits in it, and then of course the strawberry juice with the buttercream. But it does have strawberry it's bits. not a, it's not overpowered. You can tell that they use fresh buttercream because there is some chunks of buttercream left over that isn't completely mixed, which is perfectly fine. And it's it's so good. Oh, that's really good. It does taste so just like a good. cheesecake. It's so well balanced. It's not overpowering. That was so good. Mm -hmm. It is really good. All right. Mm. I'm gonna go throw these in the fridge real quick. Beep, beep. Mm. So I just threw the cannolis in the freezer so they don't go bad while we're reviewing everything else. In case mm. the screen looks different. All right. I vote we try, these are called cornettos. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but it's basically like a croissant from my understanding. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Um, 
But yeah, we should try the just the regular one first, and then we yeah. also got a pistachio one. Yeah. So we get we try to get the basic and then like a fancy one, yeah. just like the cannolis. It is so look how flaky it is. It is just look if you can tell. Show them the layers. There are so many layers. You can tell, like, ooh. it's so loud. Mm -hmm. It's really good. That bread work is amazing. That is amazing. It's oh, an amazing croissant. That is so good. Mm -hmm. That's a really good 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm hmm. Look how, show them all the air pockets inside. Ooh. It's such a fluffy bread. Mm hmm That is amazing. Oh my god, that's amazing. Right, what do we want to try next? Probably the pistachio one. I don't know if the pistachio one will have pistachio filling in it. I think she said it does, that it has pistachio in the inside too. Okay. So, this one? I'd probably go from the little side. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go by the more point. It's also, it feels like it has sugar on top. Like melted sugar, as you can tell. Oh, it's on the bottom too. Oh, it is. That's cool. okay. So we're gonna do a bottom shot. You know, it wraps all the way around. I'm not too sure what the green stripe on it is, but I'm pretty sure it's a candy top. Okay, I'm gonna try and get all. Oh, there is, is there? A, there is a filling. I didn't get to it, but I see it. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. Let me see. Mm. It's a candy, it's like a candied croissant. That is so good. Oh, you can see the filling better now. It looks like a pest, just a pistachio cream filling. And that's so good. Mm. Yeah, pistachio cream. I'm gonna try this part with the pistachios on it. Mm. <gasps> oh, it's so green. The green stripes dye the bread. That is see. so good. I want to try the filling. <laughs> you didn't get to the filling mm -hmm. yet? Mm. That's super good. It is pretty sticky for that one. All right, what's her right next? Probably, what is the name of this guy? That is a bun, bun myth. It started with a B. I don't remember what the name of it was and I couldn't find the name of it. Okay. So this one came in Nutella and it also, oh, it's heavy. He's heavy. Oh, he's heavy. Okay. This guy is a, she described it as a donut. So it has a donut breading on it. And this one is filled with Nutella. And I don't know if it's just Nutella, but they had the Nutella flavor one and they had the strawberry cheesecake. So, because I got the strawberry cheesecake cannoli, it's the same filling. So, I just decided to get a Nutella one. But so this guy this one. is so Look how cute. cute. It's and so cute. little Nutella drizzle on top. Feel, oh. how, feel how heavy this is. Oh, it is really heavy. It's, <laughs> That's it's scary. It's super heavy. <laughs> That's probably all Nutella inside. I don't even know how to bite this thing. It's a monster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Show them. Mm-hmm. Oh, try not to, it's starting to run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit. I think it's just straight Nutella on the inside, but this is so good. They did a really good job frying that dough. Oh mm. <laughs> uh, no. So it looks like it's just straight mm -hmm. Nutella on the inside. I think there's like half a jar of Nutella in here, but it's super tasty. I got a lot of Nutella in my mouth just now. I like how the top is almost like a mix of like powdered sugar and actual sugar. Mm hmm Because it's still granul granulated. Yeah, the granulated sugar makes it look sparkly and then the powdered sugar is for looks. <sighs> so That's good. a hefty boy. I enjoy oh. <laughs> It's a messy one. I'm gonna have to rinse off later. <laughs> All right. Lastly, we have this it's like an uh, apple fritter type thing. I don't know the name of it. I don't know the name of it exactly. But she said it had apple and brie and some yummy stuff. I'm gonna take an actual knife and cut this one. Yeah. Cause Can you do thick. a shot for them? Oh yeah. 
That looks so good. It's dropping seeds. All right, how should I cut it? Just like a slice of like a pizza? I don't know. I would do a small slice of it. Like right here? Yeah. Or just... should we just bite it? We could just bite it. Let's we could it. try. The apple slices might fall off. How is it? Is it cheesy? I didn't get any cheese, but I also ate just like the little. Yeah. The edge of it, but it's good. Those apples on top are really good. They are, they're so clean. I'm just like so impressed with all of his work. It's so cleanly, thinly sliced. Mm -hmm. Like he has good knife skills. <laughs> You're sprinkling whatever. I don't know what I'm sprinkling, but it's raining. It's raining, it's all question mark. Yeah, no, well, it's sweet. I didn't get an apple, but that was pretty good. Did you get the cheese? Is it cheesy? It, you know what it reminds me of? I'm trying another bite. It reminds me of creme brulee filling. So I don't, let me show the camera. So this yeah. is a vanilla cream and you can tell by the black specks if it shows that there's actually vanilla bean beans in here. So it's making me think that it was a creme brulee filling almost. Because of the consistency, it has the but same should have had brie in it. I don't taste it's, cheese. I don't either, but she said there was apple and brie. Maybe we misheard her. Mm -hmm. Aren't the apples so good? That's a good apple. Oh, it's still crispy. And that filling reminds me of a... It tastes exactly like creme brulee. That's so good. This one is really good. That one, that one's tasty. I would definitely get this one again. Mm -hmm. So, what was your favorite thing? Probably the cannolis. The cannoli was super good. I think my favorite was the the strawberry cheesecake cannoli. Yeah, that one was really good. I also really like those cookies. I just like lemon things. Mm -hmm. The lemon cookies were really good. The espresso ones were good too. The pistachio croissant was super good. Yeah. I feel like I have food right here. This, um, I think maybe my least favorite thing. Everything is delicious, but probably this guy, only because it's so much Nutella once you get to the middle of him. Like, that's just so much. But he's really good. Yeah. I think this one would have been really good with the strawberry cream and the cannoli with the yeah. Nutella. Maybe next time we'll go, we'll switch it like that. Yeah. This would be super good with the strawberry though. Mm-hmm. So that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these videos, please leave a like and a comment of what we should try next. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returner, thanks for coming back. Um, if you just subscribed, welcome to the Chew Crew and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.